fit? No? That's great. What the f am I supposed to do with it then? So in a previous episode of Motormerk's Adventures in Healthcare, uh, I think I mentioned I was going to get an EKG monitor to wear around because I was having some heart palpitations and stuff, and it comes in this little box, so once the recordings are done, you're supposed to send it back to them. It says you put it in the box, wrap it up, and put it in any U.S. mail mailbox, but clearly it doesn't fit in a f***ing mailbox. God, idiots. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing now. Guess I'm going to have to figure something else out. I'm going to ride around the neighborhood trying to see if I can find a mailbox that'll fit in. Maybe one of the old kinds where you like pull it open, stick it in, and dump the stuff down the chute will work. See, so I got some delicious treats in here. Oh yeah. Rare dogfish head brews. I found a Jiahu, which I have never tried before, and... I guess there's mixed reviews on it, but I've always wanted to try it, so I'm glad I found that. <sighs> oh good, I left my key in the bike with the ignition on. What a day. Free bike! Free bike! <sighs> Alright, let's see if we can find... You know, I wasn't intending to do a vlog, but this could end up being quite an interesting adventure. Gonna have to start by, uh... Hello. Hello. I'm going to have to start by letting my buddy know that uh, I'm going to probably be late to our to our dinner meeting since I have to cruise around the neighborhood looking for some a mailbox that will fit my stupid heart monitor in it. And I have no idea where mailboxes are because I haven't sent a package or a letter in like, I don't even know, years and years and years. Because everything's digital now, I send all everything I ever need to send, I send digitally, which I guess is pretty common. Which in turn is, I guess, why you don't see mailboxes around these days. But in a case like this, it's gonna make my situation slightly miserable, isn't it? Yeah. Found it. Ah, oh, geez. Stupid. <laughs> found one, found a mailbox. Here I go, making an awkward U-turn. Gotcha! Alright, let's see what happens here. I gotta quit pl plugging and unplugging my frickin' camera because I think it's starting to mess up my memory card or something. I've been having a lot of times lately where I plug in my camera to record and then I hit the record, you know, I turn it on, hit the record button and it just it makes a beep. Then I look at it and it says card error. Not full or anything, just error, which isn't very helpful. Okay, let's see. Set that down right there. Oh yeah. Success! Victory! Let's go home and drink these. So yeah, anyway. Uh, since my, my camera's been having a lot of trouble lately detecting memory cards, uh, and th I know there's problems with uh, some action cameras not working together with certain memory cards, but these are memory cards that I've used for, you know, in some cases, I've used some of them for years. They've been fine. But this, uh, whatchamacallit, the last few times I've gone out on my way to work or wherever and tried to record, I get these, whoops, I get these card errors. So I hope the camera's not taking a dump because I haven't really been planning on dropping three or four hundred bucks on a new camera. Although the camera, I don't even remember if I've even told this story in a vlog before, but uh, I, I bought a camera for a subscriber who paid me back for it, including a finder's fee, because he lives in a country where he can't really get action cameras affordably because of the import taxes that his country has. So I bought it for him. And he came here on vacation and he just paid me for it in cash. And we split the difference that he saved on uh, 
the import taxes themselves, which was pretty cool. Cool of him. So anyway, maybe I'll tell that story in more detail in a future vlog, since I think I never posted the original recording of that story that I made. But uh, anyway, the, the, the point of me bringing that up is that uh, he asked me to take the camera out of the box and test it out and make sure it all worked fine before I gave it to him so that he because he was here on vacation and he wanted to use it on his trip he like rented a motorcycle and went around riding so I got to play with a, a Drift Ghost S and now I'm jealous so I would actually like to have a Drift Ghost S which would be a significant upgrade from my like five year old Drift HD but uh, at the same time, I don't want to pay 400 bucks for it, so the only way that's going to happen is if it's because my current camera's broken. Because <sighs> I just, you know, I don't want to have no camera. I want to keep recording vlogs and keep using this as a dash cam because interesting things happen sometimes when you're on a bike. So anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in this impromptu Motor Merg Moto vlog. Thanks for watching, and I uh, will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, oh yeah, and I hope you enjoyed the new intro. Maybe I'll have to come up with a new outro, too, to match the new intro. I'll think about it, and if I decide to do it, then you'll see the outro here.